the more air, small invisible particles, hopefully, around you, the hits the frontal air with the motorcycle, the riding gear such as the jacket, gloves and helmet, cladding your body, the more noise is generated through air friction or drag. You can calculate the amount of drag with this lovely formula. But what you need to know is that there's a direct correlation between speed and drag. If you double the speed, say from 30 to 60 miles per hour, you quadruple the drag because the motorcycle and you, the rider, encounter twice as much air that is moving twice as fast. How much of this noise you hear depends if you're using earplugs or not and what type of earplugs we are using. Over the last couple of months, I've been testing multiple types of earplugs. These are my reflections on the earplugs I've tested and when to use what type of earplugs. There are basically two types of earplugs for noise cancellation on the market, foam and silicone. Foam is usually found at noisy job sites, given to passengers at airplanes, and seen on the shelves of your local drugstore. A good set of foam earplugs has noise reduction rating of 32 to 33 decibels. There's a huge difference between them. Also, the better foam plugs are easier to compress and insert into the air canal. They're inexpensive, especially if you buy them in larger quantities. But the downside is that they're one time use because you, they cannot be cleaned. Silicon earplugs are made out of parallel stacked discs or bells that snug onto the air canal and depending on the noise reduction has a solid or hollow stem in the middle. This type of earplugs, the silicone earplug, usually tops out at 26 decibel noise reduction. They are more expensive but they can be cleaned usually with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make them ready for the next ride and the best thing is to do clean them after each ride. Getting back to the speed, air resistance or drag generates noise. And prolonged noise over time is usually the biggest discomfort when riding a motorcycle. If you still have the original exhaust system and not one that wakes up the neighboring counties. On secondary roads with speed limits below 6 miles per hour or 100 km an hour, silicon air plugs such as the Alpine or Airpiece shown here works pretty good. The boat claims 26 decibel noise reduction but the air piece it comes with three different inserts and if you use the one with the highest rating the black ones they are a little bit has a, they have a little bit higher rating than the Alpine. Lower rating than about 26 decibel might get a little bit too noisy when you're riding. And also be aware, some of the ones on the market that claim 26 decibel, they're more like 18 to 20, especially the very inexpensive one. So you might want to stay clear of them. Other variables regarding noise is helmet type, where you would think the sleeker white Shohei helmet to the left would generate less noise than the red Arai helmet with its large peak to the right. That's not the case. The Rai XT4 or X4 in Europe is more quiet. Stock versus modified or partly modified exhaust system makes a huge difference in sound, especially at high RPMs. The size of a windscreen, if you buy CAS one, also makes a huge difference. As on the pictures on my ride, a Yamaha Tenre 700. You can see from the small original Yamaha windscreen to mid-side Peugeot to the large GV windscreen. Both the shape and the height makes a big difference in noise. Last but not least, insert the air plug correctly by lifting and pulling away from the head the top of the air lobe with the hand opposite the air you're inserting the air plug into. And when you're inserting the air plug, try to twist it. That helps it quite a bit. And please subscribe, more videos to follow.